Hello everybody, Jimmy is Promo here, and in this video today, I'm going to show you guys how you'd be able to disable some of the bloatware or the preloaded apps that is on the Samsung Galaxy S6. We're sorry, the number you have dialed is not in service at this time. So now there is a couple good reasons on why you'd like to delete the bloatware or the pre-installed applications on the device. So if it is either the Google applications that you would rather not use or view anymore, also maybe the carrier applications, if you're using AT&T, Verizon, Sprint, T-Mobile, everything like that, all of those have the preloaded apps per the carrier and also some of the Samsung apps as well. So all you would have to do is let's go all the way back and let's click on the application tray. On the very top right hand side, this is where you hit on the edit icon, and this is where you have the negative button. So the cool thing here is that you can either remove the entire folder, or you can do it one by one. Now, if you remove the folder, all of these will be moved over to the end of the tray. So let's say we go into the social, and then we just deleted the folder. Those are actually all at the very end of here now. And now if you want to just delete it, just hit on the negative button here. And then you go to OK. And what this is stating is that all of the apps that you will be doing this to is simply just disabling the app. You can also do it with the Google Apps here. So let's say we want to disable the Play, Muse, play Movies and TV right now. Now you won't be able to see this inside of your application tray. The only place that you will be able to view these is underneath the Notifications panel. Go up into the Settings. Scroll on down to where it says the Applications. Inside of here, this is where you go to the application manager, and you're just going to basically swipe all the way over to the right-hand side to view what you have disabled. If you want to enable it, all you got to do is click on it, and then once you go inside, this is where you can go back into and enable the application. So what is some of the good reasons? Number one, it will actually free up the application tray in terms of what you use and what you don't use. The other thing is that you'll have applications that will not be running in the background whatsoever, as well as using your battery or the data. So I hope this has helped you guys out. Make sure you guys hit on like and subscribe.